Hello, everyone. This is N. Welcome to another episode of Explain It. Today, our topic is the animation Legend of Exorcism, which is adapted from novel Tian Bao Fu Yao Lu. The first season has a total of thirteen episodes, which covers approximately twenty percent of the original story. Therefore, if you have only watched animation, it will be quite difficult to understand the setting of this world. So, in the first part of this video, we'll do a brief introduction of the novel background to give an idea of what is the main conflict of this story. And many may already know that Tian Bao Fu Yao Lu is a BL novel. So, in the second part, we will introduce the three couples from the original story. Before start, there is something really important to know: is that there will be spoilers in the following part. So, please be aware of that. Let's travel back to Tang Dynasty, which is around the year 754 A.D. The world is separated in two parts. One part belongs to human beings and gods, which is called the mortal world. The other part belongs to the demons. Here, the demons refers to animals who can transform themselves into human beings. There are good demons, but also bad ones. The holy demon is the leader of the bad ones. He can absorb all negative energy from the world, and it gets stronger from it. The negative energy may occur when there is a war or natural disaster or something like that. In the first part of the story, the holy demon is the big boss. His goal is to destroy the mortal world. To stop him, God A and God B made an agreement with the Peacock King, who is a mix of god and demon, to plant the seed of the holy demon in him. The Peacock King will absorb all negative energy from the world, and when he cannot contain it anymore, God B will destroy the Holy Demon with six objects, and God A will use the Heart Lantern to purify the world, and the Peacock King will have a rebirth after that. So it's like a cycle of the world. Our main character Hong Jun comes from the demon side. The other main character Jing Long is from the human side. They're like born enemies. Hong Jun's father Kong Xuan is the incarnation of the Peacock King. It's the Peacock King's destiny to be killed by God B. However, his friend A and friend B didn't want him to die, so they gave him a suggestion to marry a human being and have a child. The child would then inherit the seed of the Holy Demon from him. Then Kong Xuan himself could survive. This child is Hong Jun, our main character. However, friend A and friend B didn't know that Kong Xuan developed love for his family. He didn't want his child to die for him. On the other side, God B knew that the Peacock King has a child, and he came to kill him. In the very beginning of season one, there's a fight between God B and Hong Jun's father. The original target of God B was Hong Jun, because he has the seed of the Holy Demon. His parents both died to protect him, and he was carried back to the demon world by friend A and B. However, the holy demon is still in him. Our other character Jing Long is the official inheritor of God B. By coincidence, he has also got the heart lantern from God A. So now it's pretty clear that it's Jing Long's destiny to kill Hong Jun. How are they going to avoid this destiny but still save the world? And what will happen after they successfully destroy the holy demon? Will there be peace between humans and demons? Answers to these questions will be found in the following seasons. Okay, let's move to the second part, introducing the couples. We all know that there are five people at the deputy of exorcism. However, only one of them is straight. He is the minority in this group. The first couple we are introducing is Li Jinglong and Kong Hongjun. They are the main couple. The whole story of Tian Bao Fu Yao Lu is about how they fall in love with each other and fight their destiny. If you are interested in this couple, I would suggest reading the novel, or if you know Chinese, listening to the radio dramas, which already has three seasons, because they are a really sweet couple in the novel. Animation covers only a small part of their interactions. There is an English version of the novel. I'll put the link in the description. The second couple we are introducing is Mo Rigen and Lu Xu. Mo Rigen is the guardian of day. His transformation is wolf, and his partner Lu Xu is the guardian of night. His transformation is deer. 
It's the tradition that the guardians of day and night will fall in love with each other. Since childhood, Mo Rigen has been looking for his partner. At first, he thought that his partner would be a girl. However, later he met Lu Xu, and they went through many things together, and found out that the other person is their true love. Lu Xu will appear in season two. My home has a legend. The Wind protects the Black Bear. The Black Bear protects the Night. But when the Wind leaves, the Black Bear dies. My purpose in coming to the Chang'an is to find him. If there is a Black Bear in the Wind, please remind me. Okay. 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 The third couple we are introducing does not exist in the main novel. It comes from the extra chapters in the published books. One of them is Chou Yongsi, the other is Du Hanqing. He is the fox who wanted to be a friend of Kong Jun in the first season. After everything is settled, somehow these two form a team of exorcists. They live together and have some sweet moments in daily life. That's why readers say this is the third couple. Tianbao Fialu is a quite complicated BL story, so it would not be a bad idea to first read the novel and then watch the animation. We might have to wait at least five years before animation is finished. There will be many uncertainties between now and the last season. Therefore, if you don't want to wait that long, please check the link in the description. It covers almost all chapters except the published extra chapters. This is the most comprehensive version that I can find on the internet. If there is any other questions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. This is N. See you soon next time.